Um, <sighs> that's 90 minutes that we're never going to get back in our lives, that, to be fair, pal. Um, no. I found it pretty dull, if I'm honest. Yeah, from minute go. It was just, there was no entertainment. And I think Australia deserved more. Yeah, but they're not good either. Well, that is, well that's the point. But they deserve more. I know it's a friendly. And I, and I know... Really? Listen, there's... there's there's loads of different arguments for this where people say, oh, we're, we want we want to look at certain players that don't normally get an opportunity to see what they can do for England. Well, the answer is they can't do very well, much. That's that, yeah. Did they do what you expected? Did they do what they do for the club? Was they um, putting in performances to suggest that they deserve a place? No. Nobody, nobody that I've watched this evening has made me go, you absolutely have to be in the starting eleven for... Uh, for any of the competition next year. Nobody. Yeah. And that's just me being honest. I've watched that tonight and said, right, come on then, it's a friendly against Australia. I expect this crop of England players, and people might think I'm entitled when I say this, we are used to watching these England players, these individuals playing for their clubs, exciting football, front foot football, attacking football, guys beating people, skinning people. James Madison's one of the best players in the league this year so far. Ollie Watkins is on fire for Aston Villa. I know he scored this evening. Um, Jack Grealish. Okay, he might not necessarily be in the greatest form of his life. Jared Bowen is. He's flying at the moment. Bowen's got, what, five goals and oh, like four assists? There's, there's, there's players that we have at our disposal that are absolutely up there with the very best players in the world. But all of a sudden, they get into this England team and it's pragmatic, it's side to side, it's boring. I, think, now, I, th- I, know, I know the game's winning. And that's what the game is, right? Go and win the game of football. And England have won a game of football tonight, so what, what should I be moaning about? Mm. We, I'm moaning because I know it could be so much more. This team could still win and entertain at the same time. Yes, they could. They've got the ability to do all of those things. But I think this is a a subject that we've always been speaking about and going about as in if you look at the, the 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 England team that we've had, some of the you know the golden era, we'd always say that they're not the same when they play for England, when they play for their club. Mm. We've always said this like this. Is, I don't know if it's the added pressure we get from the press, from the fans, from us, um, you know, pund- pundits, but they just sometimes do not perform at that high level they do for the club. Is it because the step up is a little bit harder in international? So they're not shining as much as in in, in club level, but obviously you think they're playing with fear. I, I think so. I, I think it is our our media are very harsh, and we are very harsh to to criticise the the England players when they're not doing well. And I think you know we're all human, and, and, and you know some people don't like criticism and want to keep it safe and play safe, stay in that bubble. And I think some of these players are not. You know, don't want to live up to that. Don't want, don't want that that criticism. Don't want to be in the in the headlines for not having a great game. But you got your standout players who constantly play well, like your Jude Bellingham, and you can't knock Harry Kane because of his of his goals well, and his record. Answer, answer, yeah, no, I'm just saying as in, as in a whole. I'm I'm just looking at the stats of this game, right? Australia have had more shots, more shots off target, more shots on target. They've had more corners. England have just held on to the ball. That's it. They've held on to the ball and they've gone side to side, side to side, but, side to side, backwards. Who do you side think? Side to side, side to side, side to side, backwards. But do you not that's think what that Southgate do. has got some tech most of that? <sighs> Surely. Mate, listen, he has to win the tournament. He he has... This, but, this is, this man, is bad. This. This I, is, I, honestly, I said this bad. after the Euros. I said, not after, after, the, after the World Cup, I said... It's, it's got to go because we will not win anything underneath him. We may get to a semi-final or, or a final, but we won't win under this guy. And, you know, there was some fans and some, you know, wanting to stay and some don't, but I was on that fence of it's, it's got to go. On AM, on DAB, via the TalkSport app and on your smart speaker. TalkSport.